I've had several of these. <laughs> Look at how pretty this thing is. Good grief, Charlie Brown. Isn't that beautiful? Again, it's got all the super duper binding. Hand carved sides and back, all solid woods. Maple sides and back, hand carved spruce top. Show that the back of it again. Let's see that neck. Yeah, that's pretty sweet for sure. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Looks like a tiger or something. Doesn't it? Tiger stripe. Good grief. Yeah, what is that finish? Um, what they call it a, a dark almond finish, I think, something like that, or a, um, classic violin finish, something like that. <laughs> Those I, are two complete. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. A dark almond or a classic. I don't know what it is. It's just, classic violin, something it, like that. Yeah, exactly. So it's, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Because, you it's know, nice. this, I, I don't know the years of these either. But I do know that uh, they're not new. But they're close to a new. Um, the, Don, um, Don Myland. Uh, he said he bought a 805, he has an 805 CE, I think that's uh -huh. what he said, I'm trying to find that comment, um, uh, and then he just asked, uh, what's the difference between the 910 and the 805? Um... The 910, the only difference I can really see um, is that's 17 inch and this is 16 inch. Uh, there must be some other differences because there's a healthy difference in price. Um, new, anyways. Um, I think also it's the binding, you know, the binding, that maple binding is tricky to, to put on. This has regular binding. Um, and that binding looks, this, the one on, it's like the opposite because that binding on this one is, the finish on that makes the binding stick way out on that. Right. Because that finish is so red and yeah. or orange and, you know, it's got this hickory look or something to it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now this guitar, I didn't uh, install a tone control. Uh, I didn't think it needed it, <laughs> to be honest. And plus this arch it made it impossible to get in there to get the screws. So I just had to buy a new screwdriver that was so skinny and long to get in there and I bought it last night. So anyway, um, this particular guitar, God, I think it's got a beautiful sound. It's not as acoustic. Do you, do you agree, Wes? It's not a, as acoustic sounding. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds good. I like it.
So that was my little medley for Valentine's Day. And I love her until there was you. That was for you, Gail. <laughs> Winning some points here. Okay. That, that's that's all you're getting. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah. All right. Uh, my love. Uh, da, da, it had no clothes. Anyway, um, yeah, so this, uh, both these guitars, all three of them are going to, I'm going to offer them up. And, uh, um, whoops, that's the wrong one. Uh, let's see. Uh, man, what was, I'm, I'm, what, what's, what's going on here? On what's, the Road Again uh, asks, is that, is the Eastman as nice as your uh, John Paisano? I'm assuming... Well, either one. What What do you think? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, which one? You both of them? Yeah, yeah. They're different. John's got a, a set neck uh, or a set uh, pickup, um, and you know different appointments. Yeah, the the quality is right on. You know, if you like the the Pisano sound, which I do, I like that. But this is more acoustic. It's a little more airy. <laughs> You know, so it's... You know, so... Anyway, it's got a more... Uh, airy. Tone and uh, volume pot that you can use. And uh, so I take that off and then put that, that on and then wire it up. That's a pain in the ass uh, to do that. So like I said, I put a lot of time into that little guy. Can you play any Western Swing Ranger Doug style on those Eastmans? Well, you th cool. these are great. Uh, I have a friend that's got a Western Swing band, and, and uh, he, he does that, uses these. Uh, Bruce Foreman, you know, he, he used to you know, find. So it's got this sound. You know, it'll nail that sound. But if you want the steel guitar sound, uh, it I don't know about that.
Hi, Rich here again. I just wanted to say thanks for checking out my videos. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and sign up for those notifications so you can see all the cool guitar videos we put out each week. If you want more lessons right now, I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. Check out our low price monthly streaming memberships. And if you want to learn jazz, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. I take beginner jazz players and get them playing awesome solos on the fly. You'll see the link for the JGI course in the description below. Hey, thanks again for watching my channel. We'll see you again real soon with a new video.